All right, so here we go. We're going out to the studio. The first thing that I did is I stole one of my photos here. <laughs> there was a, there was a photo of me and Gary, and so I'm gonna go around and start stealing my photos. You nice exit. Okay. That's a good exit. Just well, I mean, come on. Stuff. I mean, come on, man. They'd have to put a picture of me up there. Yeah, I gotta take some stuff. All right. Have a good show, man. Thanks, brother. <clears throat> Let me get a drink of water. Hi, guys. Hi. Yo. Got to be out there real soon. I need a drink of water. A little nervous. Not used to this. It's the only place I've known for 18 years. Good luck, Vic. Thank you. I'm going to need it. All right. Drown night at Thirsty's. That's right. That's where I wish I was going. When are you going to miss me? I'm just going to be across the street. I'm going to be at altitude. Just going to turn the channel. We have more sports and all that stuff, but this is always going to be the best place in my heart. There's, uh, I don't know their names yet. I've worked with them for a while. Uh, we've met a couple times. Here are a bunch of Dagos that came in for the show. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're not one not of those Migos. Not me. Migos. I'm a Mick, my friend. Who are you? <laughs> Easy E making an appearance. <laughs> right. What's up, Easy? Hanging in. How you doing? <laughs> When's the last time you've been here? It's been a couple of years. Mm. All right, so do you think I should throw a couple curse words on my last show? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You think I should? Yes. to make sure it's your last show. Ma, nobody curses more than you do, so... <laughs> <laughs> and you know it too. Yes, I know. Yes, you know. That's why I, I, I got to Throw some of those curse words. No. No, yet. Yes, say it. No. Say it. Say it anytime. Oh. Right now, say it. Come on. I mean, come on. Um, Adalio, can you um, do this periscope while I'm over here doing this? You can move around here too, dude. You can walk around. Don't be afraid. It's bangles. Can I get on the air? Yeah. Hey, why don't you just come on and do it? How far can I go? Here? True story here. Hold on. True story. Two things. Um, about 10 years ago, I vomited right there uh, about a minute before the sports cast, and Ed had to do the sports. Two years later, I cut the tip of my finger off in that door right behind you, that studio door, cut it completely off, and Jim okay. had to do the sports that night. Poor Karen's the only person who has to do the sports. <laughs> Maybe tonight, Karen. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sound rolls in five, four, three, two, uh, ten. A whole lot to add to what I said on Sunday. Uh, uh, the report wasn't true Sunday, it's not true today, it won't ever be true. And uh, I'm still angry about it. Angry enough to launch an NFL investigation? Bring it on. Peyton says he wants the league to look into those HGH allegations. You can knock his play, but don't question his character. It's been a tumultuous year for Peyton. He's now the Broncos' backup quarterback. He'll back up Brock Osweiler this Sunday in the season finale. Got to be awkward for everybody, including Brock. Peyton's his mentor. Peyton's a legend. Peyton's his backup. It shows, I think, that that coach believes in me. 43. Uh, but once again, um, that's that's not where my focus is. Um, you know, like I said before, uh, whether I'm the starter, whether I'm the backup, I'm going to be the same exact way. I'm going to give this team everything I have every single week. Why? It doesn't and, uh, feel right. Certainly, uh, to answer your question, yes, it means a lot. Um, but that's throw not up. really where my focus is. It, it, it feels good, but at the same time, I have a job to do this week. And, and that's where my focus is. Okay. Talk to the quarterback, <clears throat> and uh, nothing has changed from that standpoint. But Peyton's availability, that is a change for us. Hopefully, you know, things go well this week. So, yeah. you know, let's keep going. But everybody knows, the team knows, Brock is our quarterback. He's doing a hell of a job. And let's just keep moving forward. Now, I don't think Peyton will be a Bronco next year. What do you think he'll do? According to our CenturyLink Sports Bowl, 57% of you think he will play elsewhere. You know this is a huge game Sunday. Win over the Chargers and the Broncos clinch a first-round bye in the playoffs. They've got some banged-up bodies. They can use the rest. Enter Phil Rivers, who loves to play the villain. And if you need the extra motivation, shoot that chance to be a lot of fun. In my mind, it's, hey, let's not let them play over the home this year. You know, yeah. this year. Let's make this be the last home game. Let's find a way to, to, uh, to do that. So. 
How mean. This is Gabriel Landeskog two days after taking a hockey puck to the face. Boy, his hair remains unscathed. And yes, Landy will play tomorrow night against the Blackhawks. The Nuggets are in Portland. It really is, and for me, there's no pain. Uh, just the swelling, really. The only thing that bothers me, but other than that. Oh, sorry about that, Easy. I don't know where you're going to stand. Nuggets are in Portland tonight. My goodness, four games in five nights. Will Barton never gets tired. Look at Will. 31 points. Second quarter, Gary Harris cutting it to three. And that's pretty much as close as they get because they could not handle C.J. McCollum. Who is this guy? This cat came out of nowhere this season. 29 for him. Nuggets dropped their fourth straight 110-103. Moments after Auburn mold Memphis in the Burinam Bowl, one of the Memphis players decided he wanted to take home a souvenir. So he knocked over the equipment guy and ran off with a football. Yeah, just took it. Hope it was well worth it because that player was immediately kicked off the team. Up next, my final CBS4 commentary. Can't believe you listened to this mindless dribble. Okay. Okay. All right. I made a mistake there. See, I didn't know there was sound of Gabriel Landeskog. I overlooked it because of my nervous nature, and I talked over that. So that was a major error. Dad, I might get fired for that. <laughs> I just talked over that. Did you notice that you, error? You already fired. <laughs> did you notice that error? Yeah, I did. Did it bother you? Uh, Dad, not that I need you here. What? Come here. I need you here for this one. What am I do? Seriously, come here. Come here. I don't want you I need you here. You are needed in this set. Come here. Come here. What? Give me your phone. At the very beginning. When, at the very beginning, I'm going to say, when I started here, this kid wasn't even born. And then I'm going to push you out. Why? Because I need you. You need me. Right? Yes. Yeah, here, ha have him shoot it. Have him shoot it like he's shooting the what? So I'm going to pull you in here. I'm going to pull you in and say, when I started here, Nothing. this kid. Going live. Yeah, it's oh. live, dude. Don't. I don't know. Yeah. So pretend, just shoot. What am I supposed to do? I'm going to pull you in, and I'm just okay. going to say. Where am I supposed to stand first? Come here. Come okay. here. Stand right here. And then as soon as I say. So I'll push you away, and then you can get out. All right, now you're rolling, though. Oh, you're, uh, he's, not. he's completely lost. <laughs> How do you flip the camera? How tall is he? Let's go back. I'm the production manager at the DCPA. Do our link. Close. He's definitely better looking than you. You know, Dante, when you were born, I was doing a sports cast here, and they called. They said that uh, you were coming to the hospital, and I said, hold on, i got to do morning sports. Tell them to wait. No. Nice. Andy wears a size 11 and a half shoe. It's a little freaky. Man. What do you wear? Like a 10, 10 and a half. <coughs> Smaller. Karen's a 16C. <laughs> 30. You should have seen that. Carl Anthony Towns plays with Minnesota Timberwolves. Remember the game the other day? I swear to God, his foot was this big. Oh, it was like a size 23. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. So, if you guys can be a little close together, you need a light. A little closer to the two, actually. Go that way. No, come this way. You know, when I started at this place, this kid wasn't even born. Now I have to pay for college. <laughs> you have to understand something. This was my childhood dream. North Denver kid growing up watching Channel 4, interned at Channel 4, spent the last 18 years delivering sports at Channel 4 for which I'm eternally grateful. Because they let me be me. I'm a homer. Always root for the home team, because they're my teams, just like they're yours. Not afraid to criticize or bust someone's chops, because that's what real fans do. But at the end of the day, just like at the end of every newscast, it's just sports. We can be wrong. The weather people can't. I'm not leaving town. I'm not retiring. I'm just moving to a place where sports is all they do. 
I'm going to miss my coworkers immensely. These people are family. You're family. And to mom and dad who never miss a show, just know that when I look into the camera, I'm always looking at you. Like that? We're holding it together, buddy. Woo! That was tough. That is not easy. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. How'd I do? Very good. Michael, get the Pacels, ma. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. We'll do it after the show. Yeah. They brought some uh, treats and stuff. Oh, you Okay. It's in this water. There you go. Did that sound like I was breaking apart there? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. I thought I was going to cry. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> that was very smooth. <laughs> What was the name of your grade school? Holy Family. Oh, so Holy Family grade school and high school. Were they like right next to each other? Yeah. Oh, wow. All of us went. I don't know. All four. What's the old, is there anything in the old Holy Family building? or Yeah, it's called Arupe Jesuit. Oh, it's Arupe. Oh. Boy, that's a success story. Yeah, yeah. They've really made it nice there, too, because Arupe is a one of those schools where people Corporations sponsor kids, right? Yeah. They do have to work their way through. Yeah, but it works. That was the year for other Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Did you know? You don't want to lose Check. viewers. <laughs> four count. Five, four, three, two. In honor of Vic's last night with us, we thought we would take a look back. Yeah, at some of his funniest and most outrageous moments with CBS Sports. Whoever gives me a prop gets a little money. You and me. You and me, baby. You and me today. <laughs> you are allotted an emergency bathroom break. But a player had to be accompanied by an opposing team's player to the bathroom. <laughs> Actually, that one does not exist. I just wanted to see that. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Off to altitude. Will yeah. the uh, will the Nuggets actually let you play or just broadcast? In fact, if they don't start winning, I may play. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna miss you. Thanks. We've got the whole family here tonight. Yeah, Great. Turn the camera on. <laughs> yeah. So when you talk about looking at your mom and dad, you're looking at your mom and dad. It yeah, makes it a lot more ready. nervous when I actually have to look at. It. She gets mad at me if I ever say anything yeah. bad about him. So. Well, we're just glad she brought food. <laughs> 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 look at easy, easy, chilling. Right. Good luck, Vic. Good luck, Vic. Thank yeah. you.